Star Wars. There you Star go. Star Wars coffee. Yep, good stuff. And we are live, joined again by uh, my good buddy Sean Woodland, fresh off the Rogue Invitational. Uh, how you doing, bud? Be, that's great, man. It's good to be back. I'm sorry that I've missed a couple of these. Obviously, we don't taste right. tonight, but mm-hmm. I've missed uh, hanging out and talking some I know. E ball. So it's always good. Looking times. forward to this. It's always, yeah, it's always good time. Um, well, I'm going to start off with um, some of my some of the top stories. So I'm going to call this like scores you need to know to kind of just you right. know if you want a little water cooler talk if you want to get by. Uh, Eagles beat the Texans. To stay undefeated, there ain't no mm-hmm. Jets upset the Bills yes. 2017, which was huge, by the way. Uh, uh, handsome, uh, my boyfriend Tommy, him and the Bucks pulled one over on your guys' Rams. Nine seconds left. And he Just said, <laughs> He's all comedy. Yeah, damn that. <laughs> Just a symphony of F uppery in that one on my, my team. There was a lot of the, uh, Man, when 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 they uh, it was a Scotty Scotty Miller dropped that touch, uh, touchdown in the end zone, I was like, that was it. I thought they were just gonna. I thought that was a down, but hey, they gave the ball. You can't you uh, can't give it back. To them. Not, to, not to delay this. Not to delay. Yeah. No, I was thinking what they should have done is kick the field goal because as well as our defense was playing, they were going to get the ball back. And oh, all you okay. need to do is just get to the forty, and then bamo, game That's over. True. So I, I would, if, if I were them, I would not have gone for that, but it worked out. Touche. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, did yeah. Um, and despite Fields running for 178 yards, the Bears still lost to the Dolphins. Yes, so that was kind of like the those are kind of like the big kind of highlights of the Dolphins thing. are scary. Dolphins are Dolphins scary. Are they, are, they are. They're very solid team, dude. Mm-hmm. Did you see the coach told Justin Fields yes, to stop just running? Stop it! Stop it! Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! That's pretty good. Yeah, 178 yards, which is the new record, by the way, for. A quarterback rushing, unbelievable quarter, uh, rushing effort. Yeah, what were his past two numbers? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had more rushing yards. I want to, I want to, yeah, I'm just curious. F- oh, you efforted? Okay, you got it. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm, looking. I'm gonna guess if I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess 110, 110 passing yards is what I'm gonna go. For. <sighs> I, I really don't know, but if I had to guess, you don't want your quarterback running for that many yards. I mean, you want, you want a mobile quarterback, but you don't want, yeah. You don't want a ru- a running back quarterback. He was you know? seventeen of. Wow! All right, he actually did very well through the air. Seventeen did of twenty, one hundred twenty three yards, three touchdowns. So he had himself oh, a he, game. Yeah, he did. So he, so he threw for one hundred twenty. He he threw three touchdowns. Yep. And passed for one hundred twenty three yards. Okay, yeah. And he ran for another one hundred seventy eight yards. <laughs> and they still lost by like what three? I think or I I know it's close. They lost by. Yeah, 35 to 32. 35 Son, 32 of yeah. Son of a gun. Uh, but the, the kind of the the top NFL stir right now is the the Colts kind of S Cannon uh Frank Wright and bring in Jeff Saturday, which I thought was interesting. Inter- very interesting. Um very in- uh, you know, boy, they they're three, five, and one. Yeah, which Colts. is another yeah, which is another interesting thing is because they're only a one and a half games out of the division lead. Yeah, so it's I like, think that... I don't know. Go ahead. Well, as I say, it's, it, football's just weird right now because like people have 500 or like, you know, just below a 500 record or everyone's still in the mix. There's no really powerhouses. I know kind of like the the Chiefs and Bills, but they're, they're still vulnerable too. Like there's not really like a huge standout team that's, I mean, I guess the Eagles too, but I... I personally don't have faith in the Eagles. I don't know. I, don't, I, just, I just don't. don't know. It's just hard to tell what they really, they're a really good team. Like you don't, yeah. you don't can only play who they put in front of you. Right. Right. It's very hard to go undefeated. Mm-hmm. Even you, regardless of who you play. True. So they're a good team, but they have yet to, the Dallas game in Dallas will be mm-hmm. their biggest challenge. There you go. Yep. If they win there that, they could, mm-hmm. they legitimately could go undefeated. They might not want to, they might start resting starters, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just nothing on that schedule that that looks like a threat. Yeah. Uh, but getting back to the Colts, I mm-hmm. saw some tweet about Frank Reich and all the quarterbacks he's had and and the <laughs> that he's put together, and it's actually pretty good. But oh, the, interesting. And okay. so why would you know, given the quarterbacks that he's had, he's not. I mean, he's oh not yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I gotcha, I gotcha. The Jeff Saturday hire is really interesting to me because he's an interim head coach. So maybe this is a way for them to say we just need to get someone in here who kind of 
knows the culture and it's yeah it's got to be it because he has no coaching experience <laughs> it's so random it was so random and i was listening to him talk about it. he's like yeah we had a talk uh he was talking to jeff ursay and then they he said at the end of the conversation he's uh kind of threw it out there like hey what did you think about what do you think about coaching the team? And he's like, oh, I got to ask my wife. And then he went and went home and talked to his wife about it and said they prayed on it. And the next day they woke up and they're like, yep, let's go for it. And I was like, was it really that? Was it really that fast and that easy? Kind of, kind of a strange, strange it, transaction. There's really no pressure on him. No. Be because if he goes in and they, they lose the rest of their games, well, what do you expect? He doesn't have any right, coaching right. experience. And I think it, it, the interim coach is always kind of the dead man walking. I, I can't think of a time where, any interim coach has survived to become the head coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why not give this guy a try? If you think he's got, he has potential and he can help your franchise. If it works mm -hmm. out, then you have the option to keep him. If it doesn't, whatever, you might be able to bump him down to maybe offensive line coach or whatever. And it gives you a, mo a longer time to, to look for, uh, you know, your full-time head coach. And I just, I can't believe that, and maybe he just likes the situation he's in right now, but Eric B should be a head coach in the league. Like he just should be the offensive coordinator yeah, for the chiefs. So that's and super weird. I don't too. know how that guy doesn't have a head coaching job and it would, and I don't know if the, that's who the Colts are interested in. They know they can't get him, So they're just kind of throwing Saturday mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I don't, I just don't understand how that guy, unless he just <laughs> wants to stay in Kansas city and just loves the situation yeah. that he has. Cause it's not like any situation he's walking into. He's going to have Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, right, right. So, I don't know. It'll be that it was just a I was a head scratch and that was a head scratcher move. I feel like it's more of a PR move than a football move. Seems like it. And it seems like they're building it, like I said, they're only they're only one and a half games out of their division, but it definitely has a feel like they're kind of trying to tank, you know, mm -hmm. like they're not they're not in, in it to win it because even it, it seems like I mean at the quarterback position that you they have they have Nick Foles, which he's a bastard, a living a living breathing bastard. But I would say he's a better option than uh, Sam Eilinger right now. If I mean if you're really if you're legit trying to win, I you'd have to think Nick Foles Nick Foles is a better option than than the than the rookie they have right now. And so I don't know why they're oh good. I was gonna say unless you think this kid I don't even know his life forget his last name is your future, I, then I, you got to get a look at him and play. But if this is sort of just a stopgap, mm -hmm. yeah, you're but right. Like I said, they're only, they're only one and a half games out. They're like they're right there, ready to. They could easy, easily make the playoffs. Yeah. Like it, they're it's like right there. So I just feel it's kind of weird that they're. It just seems like they're not trying anymore. But they're mm -hmm. also. I mean, I know their record's not good. I think they're. Uh, I can't remember the record, but I know the record's not good. But I do also know they're only one and a half games out of their division lead. <laughs> so, three five four. Yeah, I think that's right. I think they are three five and one. I think the division leader is four five. Yeah, they're four, three five. five and one. They're well, the the Titans are five and three, but every five and three. Okay, they're mm -hmm. three and six. This is one and six. So yeah, they're you know they're two games back at Tennessee, right? It, which is like I don't. It's right. There. They're like right there. Anyways, so I just feel like they. I feel like it's like managerial tanking, like uh, ownership tanking, because they're probably trying to go for. I guess try, mm -hmm. probably trying to get a quarterback in the draft, but yeah, interesting. Uh, you know, it's even more interesting is that uh, they're playing the Raiders this upcoming week, and there's you know there's history with McDaniel McDaniel's and the Colts. <laughs> imagine, yeah. imagine if the Raiders blow it to Jeff Saturday's coaching debut. Holy oh, moly! Yeah, I think that is a must win for McDaniel for Josh McDaniels. He's got, got he has to win that game. It's got to be. I don't know yeah. if he lasts past the season anyway, but he might not last past Thanksgiving if he doesn't win this game. Which is a perfect transition to the next topic is the Raiders have blown three 17-plus point leads. Man, which is, that, I don't know why, and I can't remember the guy's name, so forgive me, but the, this is the case where I think maybe they should have kept the interim coach there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. I'm sorry, keep keep talking. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I, don't I, remember the guy's name, but mm -hmm. Josh McDaniel has never just struck me as a head coach. He's had a run at being an offensive coordinator elsewhere. He was, well, he was the head coach in Denver, right? And they picked Tim Tebow. Yeah. That mm -hmm. was his big thing. <laughs> that, so I, I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't know if he's one of those guys. And, and Chase has talked about this too with Dan Quinn and the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Great coordinator, maybe not the guy you want as your head coach. No, definitely not. And he's, he's definitely a, a and it's always, it's, it really is weird. Like the coaches, the coordinators that come from Belichick, 
country, mm -hmm. how they don't ever seem to pan out yeah. at all. Like not even close. Like they're not, they're not even like, okay. They're like, they really like suck. It's really mm -hmm. weird. So, um, Romeo Cornell was the only guy who had any sort of staying power that came out of there. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Sort of. And, um, the guy that was the Texans coach for a while, Bill something, the ball oh, yeah. guy, yeah. uh, you know, he's crap, but he, yeah, he, he, he had a little bit of staying power, but overall it's like, they're not really that. They're not that great, but, um, but yeah, they blew, they blew another lead. Uh, they're up and it's and the teams that they keep blowing leads to. Well, I mean, they blew a lead to the chiefs. I, I could, I could see that, even though I don't like mm -hmm. to admit it, but, uh, they also blew, but they blew a lead to the Jags last the Jaguars, week. Yeah. And they blew a 20 point lead to the Cardinals. And I feel like the Jags and the cards kind of, they're not, they're not that great really. They're like, okay. No, especially the, I, I think so though, with, I think more the Jaguars and the Cardinals, I get with the Jaguars. I watched a little bit of that game and I've, because I used to cover that team, I kind of keep an eye on them every now and then. Uh -huh. I feel like there's a good team they're trying to get out. Yeah, and it's sort of like a couple steps forward, and then a couple, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a step back, and then a step forward, then two steps back. They're sort of stuck in neutral right now, but maybe there's something here. They do have some good. They have some good players, but they're going to be okay. Yeah, I do like Trevor Lawrence, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird. Look, the rumors I'm hearing about Jeff Dan or Jeff uh, McDaniel's is could be gone like yeah any almost any week Josh, at this point Josh Daniel what did I say you said Jeff Jeff <laughs> Jeff Daniels <laughs> <laughs> number, number three yeah. yeah uh yeah it's it's weird that he might not even last the it, like halfway yeah halfway I mean the Davis family season. is not known for their patience with head coaches super yeah no Phil that's for sure dude <laughs> that is for sure there's another uh, there's another place where I think the enemy would be a great fit Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, you know, he, that would be great. That, that team, that that team was it's hyped. not to get a middle of the season. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, but Raiders were hyped coming into the season, like they were. Some people yeah. were like Super Bowl favorites and all this crap. Like, remember, I remember ESPN did a whole, mm -hmm. like, a week long tribute to all the new people they got. You know, they got Chandler Jones and Devontae and something. It's like, and they are just they are just pooping yeah. the <laughs> pooping the bag big time. Uh, it's not good. Closing out third, uh, third. I don't. I, I gotta think of a name for the segment. Like third down, third, third down thunder. Oh, the open third. drop. They, oh, okay. Now See, we're talking. Yeah. The ideas, man. Yeah, Michael. Talking. Uh, I like. <laughs> I like it. The third, the third uh, topic uh, is the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers is on a five game losing streak, which I never thought that would possibly ever happen. And they're three and six, and uh, they just lost to the Lions. And he threw three red zone ints. I don't know. I mean, I think it's time to. I want to see some Jordan Love, man. I think. I think I they think... should have parted ways last year. Oh, uh, like I at mean, some right. point, you just got to rip this band aid off. And it's, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to the Hall of Fame. You know, first yeah, ballot. Sure. There's no doubt mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, at some point, you just you got to move on. I think there's, and I don't know that team too well, but. They've lost a lot of receivers. You know, they lost Devontae mm -hmm. Adams. Right, right, right. The, the Packer fans I know are not enamored with the options that they have there right now. <laughs> yeah. They seem to be sort of reluctant to transform themselves into a run first team. And now they have one of the, I think, didn't, one of the running backs got hurt, I think. Oh, and yes. Yeah, yeah. No, they did. They did. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I don't know if it's, if um, Matt LaFleur doesn't have the, the control or the autonomy that he would had he not, if he didn't have Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback. And so there's a little bit, we got to appease Aaron and, and maybe not make the full sort of transition over into a, a sort of a new system. But, but there are, you know, there are a lot of things that on that team that clearly need to be, need to be solved. Um, and it, you know, there's, there is a fine line in the NFL between teams that are really, when you, when you going to take a look at it, there's, a fine mm -hmm. line between being bad and being really good. It's only a couple players mm -hmm. and maybe some coaching and maybe mm -hmm. a play that breaks this way or that way during the season, you know, in a handful of times. And mm -hmm. they just don't seem to be making the plays that they were making before. Uh, I don't know the players, you know, obviously, obviously Devontae Adams. I don't know if they lost anybody else off that team that was, that was maybe in like a leadership role or anything like that, but there's yeah. just something not right there. And I don't know what it is. I, I don't <sighs> I don't think this is the case, but it seems like he did like Aaron doesn't really care. <laughs> I don't, I really don't think he, I think he does he care. Out, he, like, man, I, I've had I enough. I think he is. I think he's just kind of like over it. He's just like, especially at this point too, like I'm saying losing five and he's just, 
man, it just seems like he's defeated. Uh, yeah, he does not yeah, seem yeah. too enamored with the situation right now. Yeah, well, yeah. And to your point, too, I, I mean, I think it's pretty fair to say he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. But when you see, for okay, as him as a pretty example, when you see him going through like a season like this, do you like, do you make him look, do you, do you look at his whole career differently now? Do you kind no. of view him different? No, okay. Not at all. Yeah. No, every, I, I mean, some, some people do. Some people do. You know, some people start thinking like, ah, now there's a blip, you know, like he was so great. Now he's, you know, he's kind of fading off here at the end. Now he's not going to be, he's not like this, this aura of greatness that we thought he was. Now he's kind of like, you could make the bit. same case for Tom Brady though, too. He's not oh, having for a sure. season ever, yeah. uh, but mm-hmm. I don't think because football is such a team sport. I, I don't, I wouldn't view that. Yeah. I don't think that that tarnishes his legacy at all. Either one oh, of yeah. them. Mm-hmm. How about the fact that he's only won one Super Bowl? That's that is something where I think you know he'll still he's still going to make it just because he does have that ring, right? But I think if there is one sort of, and it's hard to put it, say you got a knock on a quarterback who's won a Super Bowl, right? But they should have one more now. Whether oh. or not that's exclusively on his shoulders, I don't know. But Aaron Rodgers should have more than one ring. He should. Definitely should. I mean, there's there's been so many times where they've been the number one seed and they've had home field and then they just just don't play like themselves. I mean, it's last weird. year losing to San Francisco in your in your building yep. when it's snowing mm-hmm. and you have you know that's but that's you know that's what the Niners were built to do is go on the road, run the ball, and for and sure. Play. But yeah, I don't know how like they looked like the I remember that that game the f- opening drive Green Bay went like bang 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 touchdown and then that's all they mm-hmm. had. I know. I thought oh. everybody thought like, well, this is going to be. Finally, we're going to see Aaron Rodgers is dominate. And then, yeah, like mm-hmm. you said, it was just like, that was it. It was just all 49ers yep. after that. Yeah. The same with the year before, too. Touchdown Tommy came in their building, like, kind of like, kind of put mm-hmm. a whooping on him. Yeah. Yeah. It was the championship game, right? Yes, it was. Yep. I think it was, yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Was the, uh, the year that they won it, was that the Des Bryant? No. Uh, Wait, no, it, wasn't oh, that year. it was. I don't know if it was. I, uh, that's, I can't remember now. Which Super Bowl like did they? God, I can't even remember. They beat. Um, I feel Denver? like it was relatively, relatively early. In, no, Denver lost to the Seahawks. Uh, <laughs> the Google. Google. Yep. All right, I'll race you. Uh, Packers Super Bowl. Pittsburgh, twenty eleven. Who did they win? Who did they? Be? Oh, Steelers. Steelers. Yep. yep. Damn Steelers. That's right. Twenty eleven. Holy crap. Man, yeah, he should have at least two more. (laughs) That's crazy how long ago that's been. I know. That is crazy. Holy bully. Uh, Well, which that leads us into um, the absolute ass beating that Sean Woodland put on us uh, last week on the the (laughs) pickums. Holy moly. Got a couple Uh, of you guys didn't take it. Yeah, actually, you you and Chase did pretty good. Well, Chase went 10 3. Oh, yeah, Chase went really well. And uh, I like I started strong here, and then uh, oh, just a lot of red, a lot oh, of red boy. for all. <laughs> oh boy! If, and if you look at them too, it's like Buffalo barely lost, yep. Washington barely lost, Vegas, Raiders Vegas Raiders blew, blew a game. lead, uh, Cardinals that was a fair loss. Uh, Tennessee, gosh, Tennessee was right there, man. Freaking can can, yeah. can uh, Malik Willis throw for more than like fifty yards? <laughs> Guy was killing yeah. Me, I, well, what's I don't even I don't follow the Titans closely enough, but obviously, Tan is he hurt or is it? Uh, yeah, Ten Hills hurt. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Ten Hills. Yeah, he's hurt. That was surprising. Uh, I still think Tennessee is a dangerous team. Um, oh yeah, if they get some of it. And you know who I think one of the most surprising teams in the league right now is Seattle. <sighs> Dude, they were not hurt. supposed to be having the season, and now they're in first place by I think a game and a half. Mm-hmm. Geno Smith, Smith. Where the hell did that guy come yeah. from? At Pete Carroll, you could make a case for him for depending for on sure. how the rest of the season goes but he's got to be an early favorite for coach of the year oh 100 percent, dude 100 percent. It's, it's right now it's just it's either be him or the uh dolphins dude probably oh but or maybe, sure. maybe maybe the eagles maybe the eagles too i mean they're undefeated it's, yeah but, but yeah i think but i think so too i think uh, mcdaniels and um is that his name mcdaniels the dolphins guy uh yeah mike mcdaniel i think mike mcdaniel yeah mike mcdaniel yeah. and uh, like and what you said too pete carroll yeah Gino, he's getting he's getting the most I've ever seen out of Gino Smith ever. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Uh let's see here. Let me 
let me move some of these little screen actions around. So yeah, you you laid a whooping. Oh, so uh, our season total right now, you're you're seventy nine and forty one. It's All right. pretty damn pretty damn good, Woodland. Pretty damn good. Uh, Chasey Poo, take it seventy and fifty, and <laughs> I'm bringing up the rear sixty six fifty four. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? I feel, see, what I are you gonna feel do? Kind of weird. <laughs> you got a little. I, I look at it, your picks, and I mean they don't they don't seem crazy. You know what I mean? Like I, you could no, yeah. I would not. I would definitely would not have done was Washington over Minnesota. Yeah, no, but I could see why uh, you'd pick close, those dude. Teams. It was close. The uh, twenty to seventeen. Pick Tennessee. Oh yeah, I did for sure. Yeah, that's exactly why, dude. I was losing. I I, I was telling my wife. I was like, I need to stop watching games that don't, especially they don't involve my team because I was mm-hmm. so heated after that game because of. I thought the I thought the refs were hosing them, dude, big time. Especially those, those two. Did you see where Travis Kelsey ripped the dudes? <sighs> no, I missed that. Yeah. Oh, he didn't. Oh, so like they. They called a holding call on the D on the DB covering Kelsey, but Kel- like you know they did hike. Kelsey yeah. runs up, grabs the DB's face mask, rips the guy's helmet off, and runs a little post out. Well, they missed that call in the Super Bowl, <laughs> where um, not is it? I think T Higgins. No, is that a guy's name from from Cincinnati? Whatever the receiver that's not Jamar Chase. Okay, ripped Jalen Ramsey's face mask and threw him to the ground. It was the first opening play of the second half. The wall and that, I remember they, being in the building, being like, "Oh, that's coming back," because you could see it from where I was sitting, and there was no flag. Yeah. And they showed the replay, so I don't know why they they miss face masks. Seem to be the most blatant yet most missed thing out there, <laughs> yeah, right? They do. It was bad, dude. I mean, this guy. Well, he not only, but not only did he ripped his he ripped his helmet off, ripped his helmet all the way off. Well, that's. And a, I was like, and they, and they called a holding on the guy who had his helmet ripped off. <laughs> that's brutal. I, like, What's I missed that one. <laughs> Yeah, and so, anyways, I was losing my my ever loving mind because I was going for two. They would have missed it. They'd have been down by two, and I was like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. sons of bitches." Anyways, anyways, I dig- I digress, but not really because yeah. they're sons of bitches. But anyways, uh, okay, uh, well, let's let's go right into. I got the point spreads. I got the I got uh, you. I got <clears throat> uh huh. I got the chase. I got Chasey Poo's picks. Um, I have to enter him. <laughs> I have to enter him in after. Let's see here. Uh, Falcons at Panthers. We got. I mean, let me let me see. Actually, let me, let me make this a little more visually pleasing Panthers, here. Falcons are only one. I game got away. this. I got this damn mosquito flying. It doesn't help that I'm in a two by two room. I know with just, a bunch of lights. <laughs> it just keeps coming right around right. my freaking face. All right, here. Let me like. Let me zoom in. Makes it a little little more visually pleasing. I think. There right, we go. Here we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, Atlanta's favored by two and a half. Uh, Ingram has taken the Panthers, and I'll go, I'll go for you. I'm going to take um, at Panthers. For, I think ba- I think Baker's getting the start here. By the way, oh really? Like, yeah, I don't think that's good because I know he came in the second half. Mm. Uh, yeah, did you see the shell- the shellacking the Bengals put on them last week? Holy, crap. I didn't see it, but yeah, it was. It was bad. Uh, they, they had five. They had had five. five. Mick, Joe Mixon had more points than I think any team in the NFL. Almost, except for the Dolphins. They did. Well, I don't know if it was all Joe Mixon, but I know they had five touchdowns in the he, first half. I think he had five TDs. I know, I, he, I know he finished with five, but I don't know if he got yeah. them all in the first half. I don't got know if he did or not. Remember. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, they shellacked him. Uh, I'm going to go um, – yeah, I'm going to go Atlanta. I'll go Atlanta on that one too. Yeah, I think the Panthers suck. <laughs> Hawks at Bucks and Bucks are a two and a half point favorite. This is really, a Munich, by the way. Yeah, that I is. Oh, that's yeah, a Juni game. I will take this. Oh boy, that's a lot of travel for Seattle. <laughs> it is. They were talking about that too. They were talking so about that. I, I'm telling you, I, if it wasn't for just one drive that Tom Brady pulled out of his rear end. Yep. Yep. There's a that team is not. It's just not a good team. I like Seattle. I'll take the Seahawks. I think they're better. All right. Well. Chase also took the Hawks, and you know me, I always go with my uh, my heart, not my brain. So I'm going to go ahead and take. take there you go. Go take. Uh, and it's, it's obviously been paying dividend for me. <laughs> <laughs> so much red. Uh, so yeah, you guys both are taking the Hawks. I'm taking to- touchdown Tom. That's a that's a 6:30 a.m. Pacific time game. Mm-hmm. Just FYI, I want to get want to get up bright and early for that. Minnesota. At Buffalo, Ooh, game of the week. This gotta be game of the week, right here. Yeah, right? this is definitely up there. Yeah, uh, God, the man, Vikings. Thought, I, I want know, thought the Vikings. I, I want my 
offensive coordinator back, please. <laughs> uh, but Bills are a three and a half point favorite. <sighs> yeah, I gotta go. I think Buffalo this is, at home. Yeah, I'm gonna go Buffalo too because you know why? I think this is one of those games where the lights are gonna shine a little bright. Uh, Mister Mister Kirk Cousins, but which by the way, did you see that guy this last weekend <laughs> with the shirt off and the gold chains yeah, around yeah. his neck? Holy. You Holy like that? Simmer down, Kirky. Kirk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think with a shine bright, he definitely does not show up. So I'm going to go ahead and bet on the old Josh Josh Allen. Which also, I, and we talked about really, I think before we started recording, but uh, I don't know if Josh Allen maybe might not yes. play. Might not play. Which I, I expect age. him to play, though. Yeah, I do too. I do too. He seems like he seems like a pretty tough dude. Yeah. Lions at Chi Town. Uh, uh, the Bears are a two and a half Chase point Pins. favorite. Uh, Chasey Poo did uh, Chicago Bears. Did he really? Chicago. Yeah, you know what's funny, dude? I think I've taken the Lions like almost every week. And then last week when they, I took the Packers. And the yeah. Digit, dude. It me. Yeah, this is a good one because it's a division game. Um, it's at Chicago. I'm, I'm going to ta- take Chicago because I, f- I, I think. Uh, I think Justin Fields is riding high right now. I think he's got some mojo. Mm-hmm. And um, it did do at, well against the Dolphins. Yeah. If it was at Detroit, I probably would have taken Detroit, but it's at it's at Bears. I'm gonna take, I don't I'm trust Jared Goff on the road. I, I'm gonna with hoof, especially against the Bears. I'll take the Bears. All right, the Bears. The uh, Bears. The Bears. Oh, uh, topic of discussion with me and my uh, me and my buddies last week was who would you rather take, Jared Goff or right now to start your start your uh, team. Jared Goff or Trevor Lawrence? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I think I think before the season started, you'd probably say Trevor Lawrence, but that guy is a turnover machine. Well, so man, he like likes to turn the ball over. <laughs> they oh man. Uh I'd probably take Goff. I think I would too. I, I, I saw I'd that guy Goff. when things were going really well for him, make some throws mm-hmm. that were just mm-hmm. spot on unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And then well, I know that, people, oh, well, you know, he's being told where to throw the ball. Well, yeah, well, that's what every coach does. Tells, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. But uh this still is gotta the best. make the throw. Right. And this is the best I've seen a, a Lions offense in a very long time. Their offense yeah. is great. I mean, and they're they got some they have up. some assets to to spend. They got some picks. Like they're they'll be able to rebuild that defense, I think, pretty quickly. Uh Jacksonville at Chiefs. Uh Chiefs are Chiefs, uh, Chiefs are a nine and a half point favorite. Chiefs. Yeah. I think I might have to go Chiefs too. Gosh, dang it! Not a fan of go- not a fan of going for a Chiefy poo. I know. Uh, I do like Travis Kelsey though. I do like he's a good player. He's, 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 I'm a fan. He's a guy. If you're, if you're on my team, probably be my favorite player. Exactly. I was like, oh god, I wish you. I wish he was on another team. That's what I keep saying. I wish that guy was on another team because I would really like that guy. Uh, Browns at Dolphins. Dolphins. Hmm. Yeah, you're going. I think uh, Dolphins. Yeah, J- Chase is going Dolphins too. Uh, Chase Dolphins, Sean Dolphins, Josh is gonna go. <laughs> I never, never feel confident about the Brown, and it's at Dolphins. Yeah, I'm gonna go Dolphins. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wanted to go. I wanted to go get you because now I really do need to start trying to think about making up some gra- <laughs> making up some ground yeah. on you guys. Well, anyway, we're not. The, uh, we're in week nine, playing time here. That's true. That's Peace true. We're, probably, we're halfway, halfway, halfway point. Yeah. Oh, uh, Texans at Giants. Eight. Giants are a five five point favorite. Yeah, Giants. Uh, yeah, I think that's a. I think that's gonna be a sweep. Did Chase go Giants? Uh, yes, he did. Chase and Sean and Josh all take the Giants. <laughs> they were Giants are a weird team. Like they're good. Oh, there's another guy potentially coach of the year, huh? Yeah, I I I like I like the Giants just because. I have, a, I have a friend, a guy I work with who's a, a Giants fan, and I tell him all the time, it's like, they're just ugly. They just play ugly. And it, that's not mm-hmm. that's not an insult, but it's like they're just mm-hmm. a power football team. Dan Orlovsky did a great bit on them, a breakdown of their drive, their game-winning drive against the Jacksonville Jaguars, where they ran mm-hmm. the same play, I think, four or five times in a row. Just ran it, power, ran, you know, pull guards, run uh-huh. mm-hmm. power right at them every time. Yeah. Like you can't screw up ugly. Like you just can't. Like they're just going to come out and beat you, you know, punch you in the face, and and scrap. And I think that this league is slowly starting to shift back to maybe being more 
I don't think it will ever be the way it used to be, like in the 80s, 70s, 80s, and early 90s, being a running mm-hmm. back league. But mm-hmm. teams that can run the ball now because of the way that other teams that teams are starting to play defense yep. uh, can do some damage. And I think – I like the Giants. I think they're I think they're a good team. Uh, a sentence you'll never hear me say. I like they the just Giants. Can't, they just cannot get – the problem with them is that they, they're not going to win games where they're down like 10 because then they got to start. Right. Yeah. You know, they have, they're going to have to abandon their game plan. As long as they're within a score and they can continue to do what they do, I think they're they're good. But they're not a team that's going to you know light up the scoreboard. That's true. No, they, if it, you don't want to be in a close close game with those guys. Yeah. I, I, I do like Saquon Barkley. That guy's he's awesome to watch. I love watching that dude. Yeah. He look like, looks like he's, he's kind of rejuvenated. Saints at Steelers. Kind of an ugly game. What an ugly game. Let's see who's favorite here. Saints are favored by three. Chase took Steelers. How say you, Sean? Oh, man. I um, mean, like flip a coin, right? I don't even know. What the yeah. Hell. What do you think about the Saints quarterback situation? I like, don't know. Even, I don't even know what their quarterback situation is. Like, who's, I, guess, I guess it's Dalton. Jason Hill or oh, Andy Dalton. <laughs> Jameis Winston, maybe I don't know. It's kind yeah, of weird. Bisky weird... slinging it for the Steelers. <laughs> That's right. He's back, huh? He or Sickens. Okay, okay. I like your style, buddy. I like your style. I'm, I'm only, I'm only going Steelers just because they're at home. That's my only reason I'm taking the Steelers. No, I can see that. I just, I don't know. I got a feeling about the Saints. I don't know. I'll let you guys I mean, pick I up love... the game. You know, you know. There you go. There you go. Pick please, it. please. I do love me some Alvin Kamara. He's awesome. Yeah, isn't he a free agent after this year? I believe he is. Yeah. Which, but I'm not a big believer in paying running backs. Not a believer. I'm not either. But it, it's. I think that might be shifting a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, he and he's kind of one of those unicorns. He's he's kind of a he's he's a standout kind of player. He's yep. he's like a he's like a, a Kish, Christian McCaffrey kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Broncos at Titans. Brossy, there's a. Uh, Who's a, who's a favorite here? I'm guessing it's Titans. Are, yeah, Titans are favored by two and a half. Chase took the Titans. Um, mm. I mean, as every, as every yeah, as every week passes, Russell Wilson just gets a little bit weirder every time. Just a yes. little bit weirder. It's an interesting time. character. <laughs> oh man, I want. I'll take Tennessee. Gonna, okay, I, was, I took I took Tennessee as well too. So that's a sweep. That's a Tennessee sweep. Colts at Raiders. Man, I mean, I'm probably not going to watch this piece of crap, but I definitely <laughs> want to know what happens. <laughs> I cannot imagine the Raiders losing this. I just don't see how with a guy oh who's – if they lose to a guy who's never coached at any oh gosh. level, at any position, and I don't think – Jeff. correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think Jeff Saturday has any coaching no. experience anywhere. Zero. Right? Zero. Went yeah, right, zero. From the, right from his playing career to like the analyst chair, and he's a damn good analyst. Yep. Yes. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I gotta take. The, I gotta take the Raiders. I just, you know, that that place they will riot if they lose that game. Oh yeah. Oh, guess what? Chase is trying to shock the world. He's going indie. Is he really? Chase is going indie. Wow. Oh, holy moly. Oh man, my bad. I'm over here. Uh, dang, indie. Gosh, I mean, just for the story, just for content purposes, I'm hoping the Colts win. Mm. Uh. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Raiders. I think this is like one. I mean, they're at Raiders. I mean, every single thing is pointing to a Raiders win. Yes, it is. <laughs> Which is probably why they're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, Cowboys at Packers. I think this is a yeah, this is a five point spread. Uh, yeah, this is the as uh, my friend and colleague Tommy Marquez says the Des the Des caught it revenge game. Uh huh. There you go. Yep. Uh, Ingram's taking Cowboys. Are we? Are we? Are we just counting out? Are we just counting out Aaron Rodgers? Are we thinking? Are we thinking? That's the thing. It's like I can't imagine them losing six straight. But then again, I really like Dallas. I think they're a good team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all things even. Um, you think you think Dallas is going to win this game? But uh, is Aaron going to lose six in a row? And they're at Green Bay. <laughs> it's just it's another place that would probably riot if they lose that game. Oh my gosh! Um, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna start. I got to pick Dallas just because I think they're a better team. They definitely are a better. I wonder team what the weather up there sure. is gonna be like at kickoff. I mean, we're in November oh, now, so it's got to start. Say, 
you're trying to do you're trying to do like a deep dive are you trying to do like a like a an actual professional type podcast here we're trying to break <laughs> i just am curious like how cold it's going to be up there oh this is actually that's a great great observation i wish i had that uh, on my fingertips because because yeah that'll that'll definitely make a difference for sure if it's like freezing balls because the cowboys are a bunch of pretty boys that love playing in like 70 degree indoor temperature with a you know they don't want to play out in the cold they're gonna be freezing their cojones off uh i'm gonna go green bay now you're looking up the weather really I don't think that's I don't think that's as crazy as a a pick as it might seem on paper. Yeah. I think uh I just because of everything we're saying, it's at Green Bay. Aaron's like I still think Aaron's one of those guys where borderline Tommy style where it's like don't don't ever like think that guy's never gonna like pull some miracles out of his out of his out of his Yahoo. So I think he uh I'm gonna I'm gonna put my faith in this guy. But I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm telling the world. So help me God, Aaron Rodgers. If you let me down this week, buddy, I'm not picking you for the rest of the season. Yeah. I am not All right. It's gonna you. be it's gonna be oh boy. Sunday in Green Bay, low of 24 and a high of 37. So not oh. cold, but not super duper Arctic. Right. Yeah. Uh well, you're talking to well, you live in California too. That's freezing my ass off weather to me. It is getting <laughs> really cold here, man. Yeah, it's getting like where I am in the morning, and like it's getting down in the high thirties here. Uh, yeah, it's freaking. That's about what we're at too. We're up same thing, like high thirties, and that's like, yeah, yeah, not not cool. We're down last not- night in the rain. Like I, I went outside because I'm just like I got to get, get get something in while I can. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm, I can only work out outside. That's where my rig is, and you know I have some mats uh, outside. So I roll uh, the barbell out there. I get everything set. Rain starts. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hell with it. <laughs> Solid, dude. Just yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, it was one of those. There's like. We're not going to be going faster because I got to move stuff out of the way and resituate some yeah. things. But I got I got some uh-huh. fitness. In. That's all that matters. Hell but yeah, yeah. Like training. So hell yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Get too messed up. <laughs> that's awesome. But anyway, yeah, I don't know where we're going. With I that. like it. Yeah, I like. No, that's okay. I love it. That. That's the kind of content. Uh, that's a. By the way, that's the kind of content you need to live stream, Sean. Oh, Throwing gosh. down some weight in the rain. We wouldn't oh, be able to see anything. It's just all dark, and my dogs are running around. So it would have been a disaster. Well, uh, I, you can have one of my 36 lights that I have here next time. I would borrow do that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Cards at Rams. Oh, Rams, boy. Rams are a one and a half point favorite. That, well, okay. So Matthew Stafford is in the concussion protocol. Entered it on Tuesday. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I don't know if he's going to play or not. Even if he does, um, that there is a very good chance that they will be starting the ninth iteration in nine games of their offensive line. Holy moly. They That's cannot incredible. run the ball. They yeah, lead the league, is. I think, in three and outs. Their offense has just gone into a down like death spiral. Mm-hmm. The defense mm-hmm. is playing really well. That's the problem. Their defense is yeah. actually playing really oh, well. Yeah, I think their defense is very good. God, who's, so the, who's the back who's the backup QB? John Wolford, who actually started a playoff game for them a couple years ago in <laughs> Seattle. And got a win for them on the final game of the season a couple years ago to get them into the playoffs when they played the Arizona Cardinals. Holy moly. What a deep dive right there. So, um, you know what, too? I used to I used to like Kyler Murray a lot. And now the more I see him, I'm kind of on Chase's side. He's kind of turned into a little whiny bee. And he's I'll take the Rams. <laughs> uh, well, guess what? I also took the Rams and right. so did Chase. That's, that's a sweep of the Rams. Oh man, three, I three yep. that yep. wrong. I know. My poor team. Chargers at Niners. Uh, you know what's weird about this? Uh, five and three Chargers. It's a four and four, and the Niners are a Same. seven point favorite. Seven. Yeah, I was like a seven point wow. favorite. Holy crap! I look. So let me just. My hatred for the Niners is well publicized. I cannot stand I, with a burning fury of a thousand stars i hate that team but i will so i think that they are they the mccaffrey trade for them was a great trade absolutely made them better that guy is a hell of an athlete but let's pump the brakes here on this super bowl thing they're not even leading their own division they got annihilated at home by kansas city yes they did so I think I think they're going to make the playoffs. Okay, mm-hmm. probably as a wild card. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I man, it's hard for me to go against them at home. I don't know what yeah. Chargers team is going to show up. 
that's the Chargers are always like that. Every year they're like, who? I mean, they could. This could be like a Charger blowout. It could be also a Niner blowout. It's so weird. Yeah, I would. It wouldn't surprise me if if I, I wanted to say San Diego. If the Chargers go in there and win. Oh yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I think I think the 49ers will will win that game. But I, I I think that, like I said, with the Super Bowl stuff, let's just pump the brakes on that for a second because I think mm-hmm. the best in the AFC is far superior to the best in the NFC, and I don't even think that 49ers are the best in the NFC right now. Yeah, uh, just, just, people, just calm down for a second. For, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, that's a great question. Best in the NFC. I mean, I guess you probably. Ha- I mean, I guess kind of have to say the Eagles, but at, if not the Eagles. Who do you think is the best in the NFC? Uh, um, Vikings? I think they're up there. But yeah. even then, like, I don't, you know, like, I just think that the best, you know, the three best teams in the AFC are probably what? Kansas City, Miami, and Buffalo. Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you, I, think so. I don't know if there's anybody in the NFC that is that as good as those no. two teams. Right. Yeah. Teams. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I would, t- I would take those three teams over over the Eagles right? and over the, over the Vikings. I probably sure. would too. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. I just, uh, well, that's another thing too. When I was talking about, I mean, I know I'm totally a homer, but like uh, Brady, I'm like, uh, the NFC is so wide open. I know they're playing like mm-hmm. crap, but they're like, if, if they just turn it around, like at any point in the next couple of like, weeks, they can easily, uh, you know, they can, they can go to the Super Bowl in the NFC. I, sure. I say this a lot is that a pair of 10 and seven teams, 10 and seven last year, played for their respective conference championships mm-hmm. and one of them made it to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You almost had two of them in the Super Bowl, 10 mm-hmm. and seven, like just yep. get in. It's like you said, especially in the NFC, if you can just get in. Yep. Cause you once you're in, then it's just everybody's, everybody's yep. zero and zero. Then it's just like, yep. It's all, yep. But I do sure. think, I think the, I think the 49ers will beat the chargers and I think they have an opportunity statement here. Uh, I think the only thing the, with San Francisco is their is the quarterback position is that if you get into a game like you did against Kansas City, can you battle back from that? And I don't know if they can. I don't think there's a lot of people that have confidence in Jimmy G to do that for sure. But they got a lot of great weapons there. If I also may plug and and brag about my boyfriend, do you know he only has one interception this year? And that was yeah, amazing. he should have had two pick sixes against the Rams and they dropped them both. So. <laughs> He only has one interception. That's what I'm trying to say. And it happened. It happened in week one. So he's yep. gone seven straight weeks out throwing a pick. Just, just saying. And the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks lead the league in dropped passes. I think they're also like zero for thirty-two on any like third and anything like over than ten. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like those little things. Like if they could just correct those things, it'd be like a completely different team. But kind of wishful thinking and hopeful thinking, but anywho, uh, you got, yeah. So you and chase took the Niners and I took the chargers. I hope you're right. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Make my weekend. <laughs> I also hope I'm right. And finally to, to top it, I guess this is the Monday night game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Eagles. commanders <laughs> and it's a 10 and a half point spread. Eagles. Pretty sure. Uh, yep. This is a very anticlimactic climatic ending here um yeah i'm gonna take philly You're monday take night football philly. used to be the thing like that was an event Dude, yeah I, it used to be now it's sunday night football is the thing oh That's for sure good. well i think i think espn uh cracked open their uh their their pocketbooks a little bit more i was trying to scroll up because i think the uh the thursday night game's a huge stinker yes it is <laughs> that's the thursday night. that's a game tomorrow night yeah wow. that's what that rams buccaneers game looked like it looked like a thursday night game it just, <clears throat> it's ugly for sure for sure uh well that's it i mean yeah you're sitting again you're sitting 79 41 chases at 70 and 50 i'm 66 and 54 um yeah hopefully i can uh, write this shit buddy there you go. what's we'll the, the uh, lo- loser has to shave his head is that the deal <laughs> <laughs> i don't yeah <laughs> okay <It's laughs> liberating. Sure I, I don't know if you want to get that get rid of that lovely cloth though man i wouldn't put that <laughs> oh, if i had it this is I mean, I would t- I would risk it if I could possibly get Chase to go bald. That'd be amazing. I'd be That'd be that. incredible. I don't know if you do stuff. It, I don't know how it uh, <laughs> uh, Sean, you always make time uh, to hop on here. Always appreciate it, and uh, you're always a good time. And- My pleasure. I appreciate you having me. It's always a lot of fun. It makes me For pay sure. more attention on Sundays and do a little more research. So, and I also wanted to steal you down the road here in the next few weeks to recap Andor. Oh yes, yes. Hop on, hop on one of those too. Yes. For sure. 
can't wait. wait. When is it? Is yeah. is okay? So we're recording this on a Wednesday. Good. There's another episode out right now that I'm going to go mm-hmm. watch here in a little bit. Oh, is that the, it's not the season finale? It. Is it like how many of these are we getting? Hopefully it's thirty if, because I can't get enough of this. <laughs> if it's not, I believe this is episode nine. Oh, so I'm ten. Pretty sure. I think so. I'm. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we're at least getting okay. going to get ten. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's amazing. I mean, for those who aren't watching it, if you're a Star Wars fan, holy yeah, moly! And I, you may. I know you may have been turned off by the other stuff, but you have got this. Is this is the show you've been waiting for? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Sean and I both think might might be. If not, if it's if it's not the best, it's it's definitely a top two best Star yes. Wars show. That it has. I think it might be. I think it might be. I think it might be. Uh, all right, sir. Until uh, until next week, I'll uh, awesome. talk to you soon. Go Chargers.